Yes, indeed. Hello, YouTube. It is Friday, June 24th, 2022, um, 5.14 p.m. Um, yeah, I'm on my way to Bullock's. Um, today is not in the slightest bit gone the way I've been planning for it to go. Um, and, uh, okay, yeah, today's been a big news day, by the way. I'm thinking I'm going to crank this up a little bit. That was passed, and uh, she's joined the program. Thanks for coming on with us on such short notice. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. It is a great day. I appreciate you having me on. So, Nancy, uh, does this 15-week, is it tear it up, throw it away, because now this is uh, a whole new ballgame? <laughs> well, yes. Um, with the, with the decades-old uh, Roe decision, it's, it's put a crimp in Arizona law, along with, uh, with, with many other states that prohibited abortion, except... Roe just uh, overturned everything and made made our laws unenforceable. Now that all all changes with that being out of the way. Now the states can uh, do what we will and protect the lives of the unborn and women. So you wrote this 15-week uh, abortion ban, which passed, uh, if I remember right, it was a couple weeks back or months even, and it was signed by the governor. That takes effect 90 days after the legislative session ends, which is presumably soon, if you guys aren't figuring it out already. Um, but I think, th to, to Chad's question, are you guys planning now, because Roe is gone, to scrap your 15-week ban and do something even more restrictive on abortions? Well, I'm really glad you're bringing this up because there's a lot of confusion because what the, what the legislature did was, I think, brilliant. First of all, I didn't quite write the 15-week <laughs> ban bill myself. We, we actually uh, copied most of it from the Mississippi law, which was entailed in the Dobbs decision. And so we, were, we promoted a two-prong plan to copy the 15-week ban because that will protect many, many more lives if the Supreme Court simply upheld that law. But our law, our 15-week um, bill, Senate Bill 1164, had a really important provision in that it made sure that our underlying pre row law that bans most abortions altogether in Arizona, uh, which does not get preempted by the 15-week ban. So we, with row out of the way, the Arizona's underlying law is now an enforceable. So again, in most counties, that law would go into effect soon. Wow, so uh, we're getting some clarity here. Because I think a lot of people are trying to figure out what was going on. I knew you guys had modeled that, uh, expecting that this was going to be, you know, uh, eventually done away with, or they were gonna uphold because I think a lot of people didn't realize what happened today was a two prong thing of the release of this. It was Justice, uh, you know, Chief Justice Roberts said, look, I would have upheld, and he did, the 15-week uh, Mississippi uh, abortion ban, but they expanded that to Casey and to Roe, and so that's how we got here. But you guys were just expecting, look, they're going to uphold what's going on in Mississippi. We can model that and go from there, but just in case they go further, let's put this out here. Absolutely, because really, uh, most people really looked at Roe on its face, and nobody sees a right to privacy, a constitutional right to abortion in Roe, and eventually it really needed to go. So we didn't know if that would happen this time or in the future, or there would be some kind of convoluted opinion written, but it's very clearly overturned, so we, we made sure to have that provision in the law. And, you know, I think it's uh, it's fairly clear. I'm hearing, and I saw uh, Bram had a tweet that, sin that signified that Planned Parenthood was sending 30 women away from their abortion clinics today. So um, they're understanding that the law is what it is. Talking to uh, Senator uh, Nancy Bardo. Okay, uh, here's something. For those people out there who are pro-choice, maybe they're not 
uh, the, the the kind of choice where you've got a lot of young people are upset and they think that you, you're, you're destroying everything and you're going to take everything away if I get raped, uh, if, if, if it's my father gets me pregnant. How do you reach over there and try? Because compromise is part of what we do. We all live together. And and how do we go about having a place where we can start with, with some understanding and try to grow from there rather than being the end all to be all, which is apparently what only extremes that live in the world want now? Well, I, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of discussion all around this, and um, I think uh, the hearts of America are waking up to the humanity of the unborn and the physical and psychological damage that abortion really foists on women and men um, in terms of psychology and the pain that a man feels uh, at the death of his child. There's, we don't often talk about that, but we very rarely even talk about the physical ramifications of abortion on a woman, um, including chemical abortions. So this gives us a real opportunity to get into the weeds on that. I mean, rape and incest truly are horrific crimes, and we need to continue to do all we can to care for these women who are victims. Uh, but we also can't pretend that abortion is going to fix that horrible injustice. Uh, you know, when yikes. actually abortion further uh, makes that emotional trauma even worse. We're talking with State Senator Nancy Bartow, who played a role in passing uh, the 15-week Worse than carrying a rapist child for nine months? I just want, for my own clarity, wow. to make sure I've got this right. Uh, the 1901 law that has been around for over 100 years that bans most abortions in Arizona and the 15-week ban are meant to coexist, is what I got from you. And if that's the case, why do we need a 15-week ban if we already have a ban on most abortions for over 100 years ago? So at best, the simple answer. The 15 week is First, gone. Then what's the point of the 15 right. week? It just goes away? It would still be in law, but the underlying bill law would preempt that. So we do have statutes on the books that are not enforceable because the other, uh, the other law uh, it preempts it or takes precedent over it. You know, it's worth noting right now, this is not what I expected to hear in this interview, by the way. Uh, it's worth noting right now that Arizona still has a law in the books that prohibits interracial relationships. Came into, uh, Obviously, it's not enforceable as a result of loving versus loving, but it is still on our books. Injunction does have to be lifted, so technically he's right. But the 15 week hasn't gone into effect uh, because the session hasn't formally ended and the, and the 90 days uh, have not uh, occurred yet. So uh, from here, they're going to try to get it on the ballot this year, uh, which you never know. They could. I mean, anything is possible. Uh, what happens from there if they pass something where 15 weeks is 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 something that they're that, that they get across uh, the line? How does that affect you and and what the legislators are going to do? Well, the ballot measure that's going around now is. Um, I'm sure there's several. Nothing is oh there. Well, I'm only familiar with the with the one that's really excessive, excessively broad. Um, I should say it's, it's it's incredible. This woman kind of strikes me as an excessive broad. Just throwing that out there. I know that they should really look at it carefully because it, it strips away every safety regulation that uh, has been protecting women for decades here in Arizona. It's uh, it's really a free for all in terms of unlimited abortion. I mean, Roe pretty much allows unlimited abortions. That's that's kind of the dirty little secret that people don't want to talk about. It allows, with, with Roe in place, it allowed abortions up until birth. And very few Americans are there. Only 13% really are that radical, radically in, in, in favor of abortion. I mean, when a baby is feeling pain and right up to the moment of birth. Um, so this this ballot measure uh, that they're proposing is, is incredibly radical and puts us probably even further uh, in the camp of, of some of the most radical uh, countries in the world, like China and North Korea. Yeah. 
So it's going to be interesting, and I'm sure this is, again, this is the first day uh, that this has taken place, and that people are finding this out. Everybody kind of knew what happened, uh, you know, from the, from the leak, but uh, uh, we'll see what happens, because as you know, the battle is just beginning, and the beauty of our country is people have a chance to have their voice to send other people to places that they think that's what they want. We appreciate you coming on, uh, Senator uh, Nancy Barto joining the program today. Thanks so much. Thank you, and that's where the decisions ought to be made, right here in the state. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, states' rights is, is a big issue. Yeah. Well, I got to admit, I fully agree with the last thing she said there. State decisions should be made by the state. This is something that should be federalized. We strongly agree with that. Well, speak. And sometimes the people surprise a lot of other people, and I don't think people really understand that. All right, coming up, uh, a little Monica Lindstrom. Talk to her. You know, she's a judge. Also a lawyer. That's how she became a judge. They don't just let you be judging. Well, you heard the state senator say, I'm not a lawyer. Well, we got a lawyer. No, she's not a big Monica Lindstrom. She wears a robe every once in a while, too. And uh, probably one of those big white frilly things around her neck so she can judge people. She'll join the program for any of that. Get his judge her. An historic decision from the U.S. Supreme Court. The U.S. Supreme Court has effectively removed the federal right to an abortion. In a 6-3 to three ruling in the Dom versus Jackson women's health case, led by Justice Samuel Alito, the decision to reverse the 1973 ruling in favor of federal abortion rights was leaked a few months ago, sparking controversy and arguments about women's rights across the country. We're talking about about what this ruling means for what is a woman today on 92.3 FM and listen live on the KTAR News app. Hey guys, you struggling with erectile dysfunction? No, no, I'm not. Thanks for asking. Relationship with your loved one. Oh gosh, this is um, yeah. I haven't shot a vlog since um, Wednesday afternoon when I was on my way to. to um, um, to Amazon, I think, and, and this is not at all what I thought this video was going to be about in the slightest, so uh, my apologies if this is shaking anybody up, but um, I guess I should have expected that. I mean, I'd, I'd already heard the news earlier this morning, um, and, and, and I mean, the opinion was leaked, and, and for what it's worth, I, I, I am glad that 